It's clashing with okra time, my friends. We have Queen Walk post-update Valkyrie attack for the three-star. The first one is a three-star attack. Second one is a two-star. Let's see what went right, what went wrong, how do you do it again, etc., etc. He's about to get okra'd. DL's a great attacker on our side. So... Uh, again, using mine uh, minions and some archers there to create more of the funnel. Obviously, he's hoping and clearing the way for the main bulk of his troops to go into the core. This base, you know, the, you see these type of bases, those island inferno tower bases. Uh, again, this is makes it easier on the queen to path where she wants to because those minions can really create the funnel necessary for the queen to go right into the core and take out that inferno tower. So the main difference with the f success here is that the queen stayed alive. I can't stress enough, you know, when you're doing the queen walks, you have to do whatever you can to make her stay alive. She actually could have walked longer um, and let her walk longer and it would have saved the golem some more damage, uh, but it's okay. Wall breaker fail, but because the funnel was created by those minions it didn't matter the valkyries are going to go right towards those uh heroes because they're going to be lured out so no jump spell necessary on the hero portion then he drops the jump he actually probably just could have brought one jump spell, honestly. One jump and then maybe a freeze and a, or a heal. But he decided to bring two jumps for the back end. So at this point, things aren't looking that great. You can tell all the Valkyries are almost dead. And the Queen did shift away and not go towards that Inferno Tower. Luckily, she went back. Oh, thankfully, she went back to the Inferno Tower. And because she went back this was a success now mind you the healers did drift away from the queen and she will go down soon but she was able to take down enough of these kind of teslas and the expo to really cause a lot of damage and the king is still alive with his ability and of course if you noticed in the clan castle what did he bring maxed miners and that is really critical um, for these type of bases. The miners do well uh, against Town Hall 10s because they're just great cleanup troop. Uh, and especially with that king available, you know, with his bit rage, this raid is over. So very well executed. Not the greatest base design in the sense he let all those minions be able to create the funnel easily. So, you know, make sure you... Ha it's hard for either bringing Braby Dragons or, or minions on that funneling capability. So, this is a common base. I've seen this base a lot here. Obviously, going to bring in the Braby Dragon and then the healers. The goal is obviously to make her go towards that Inferno Tower, hopefully. Uh, and shoot, the wall breakers will break in and take out that air defense so the healers will stay alive. Things are going well. Look, I mean, this funnel actually is perfectly done. She goes in right where she needs to. As you can tell, though, what's going to happen, it looks like that queen is going to pop and stick, get stuck on some of those um, uh, storages. So because there's no freeze available, the uh, it's not going to be enough to get her there. I would have dropped my golem already um, and bring in the wizards immediately now uh, because the queen is going to be caught alone. So when you come into these bases and you th know she's going to be caught alone with a lot of hit points, you got to make sure she stays alive. So right there, See, the, that Inferno Tower locked onto her, so she's not going to be able to get full health again. And right when that Clan Castle comes out, there's nothing he can do. Uh, so it's a little unfortunate, you know, either he had to bring a freeze there or brought, drop the rage a little early to make sure she had full health going into that Inferno Tower. And then right at the Inferno Tower in the Clan Castle would have dropped her ability. So that one mistake, because she popped the ability earlier, and failed this attack. Couldn't have done anything about it. You know, uh, so the beginning stages went well, but the kind of in the middle with the queen walk did not go well, and that's why the fail is going to happen. Now, how could you overcome that? Um, I think those were, that was a misplaced uh, minor camps. I know he didn't mean to drop those miners. So I, what I would have done differently, I would have brought my Valkyries and my main attack a little sooner in conjunction with the queen so she wasn't caught alone that way um you know i think she might have stayed alive a lot longer so you know 
it just kind of went downhill. You know, you get really deflated once that queen goes down. You know the raid's not going to go well at all. It just didn't, you know, happen how we wanted to. And because of that, the failed did occur. So, you know, it's hard to recoup after you have that huge loss um, at the beginning with the queen down because getting the three star at this point, near, it's impossible. So, again, when you're doing the queen walks, do everything you can to keep her alive bring extra rage if need be bring a free spell if she's gonna encounter a lot of defensive units with the inferno tower she needs to stay alive um so anyways there was one success and one fail using valkyries i like to bring valkyries because no one really uses them anymore these days and they're really fun to use um they're not quite as good on most bases of, um because bowlers and miners are a little bit better but anyways there you go thanks again for watching we'll see you next time halo out